Hey guys, welcome back to Beta Themes. As we are just past the mid year of 2021, we have some exciting news to tell you. We are happy to announce the new version update of Element Pack version 5.9.x. In this version, we have introduced a new widget and lots of new features added within the previous widgets. We also fixed some issues and improved our source codes. Now Element Pack is a more powerful web design tool for WordPress. Now, let us show you what we came up with this time. The Air Pollution widget let you place a detailed inspection of the wind condition in your surroundings. You will find a layout section named Air Pollution in the Content tab. Here you will see a couple of buttons and some fields. By turning on the Catch Weather switcher, you can catch the air condition forecast at the set frequency. You can choose to reload catch after maximum 24 hours. The latitude and longitude fields requires your current location status that you can get from Google Map. Here's how you can check the coordinates of your current location. On the map, either click right mouse button or look for the URL to find those numbers. Back into the control. You can show current date on the air pollution data on the page. Switch off the button in case you don't need it. At the bottom, you have a list stripe and list divider button to change the layout slightly in order to get the perfect view. Moving on to the style tab, look into the first section and go to the list stripe part. There, you may change the color of the stripe pattern. Light yellow for normal, and deep yellow for the hover mode. Next, we have added the custom device option in our device slider widget. You will find it in the slider section inside the select device menu. Once selected, you will see a mobile device layout with notch, button and bezel. Let's choose some background for the slider first. Click on the slider item 1 and set an image. Set colorful images for all the four sliders. Now, let me introduce you to the custom device controls. Click the custom device section first. From the top to bottom, you will see fields, switchers, and an option menu. On top, you can put custom width and height for your custom device slider. Let's quickly apply some device dimensions. There are 5 buttons located both sides of the device. You may keep the buttons on or deactivate them using the switchers on your left. The device notch also has 3 styles. You can always go for a small notch or water drop notch. If you deactivate the notch with the switcher, a lens control field will appear right below. You may change the lens size at your free will. With the horizontal and vertical offsets, you can place the lens anywhere on the display. The lens can also be deactivated.
Let's revert to the notch settings. The bezel of the custom device is changeable in all four directions. Using the border radius option, you can curve the bezel corners or keep sharp corners as well. Just like many other real devices, you can make such model using these options. On the style tab, you'll find color settings for the whole device, bezel and notch. In the device section menu. You can pick any color you want. Remember, keeping the buttons on the device would give you color options for the buttons as well. The next item is our new query control. Many of you had asked us to bring change to our query control and add something latest. As we heard your call, we made the new query system that is comparable to Elementor's one. Since we have a new one, the old query system will soon be gone. However, for the time being, it's marked as deprecated. Let's see it for the post grid widget as an example. Click on the new query section and then turn on the replace switcher. The source option is same as before. The new change is the include exclude options. For the include option, you can choose author or terms as source. Author means the post authors while terms go for categories, tags, etc. Let's include terms and select a specific term to display. The new date option lets you choose the date of the posts be present, be it present or past week. You may choose anything including custom dates. The order and order by options are still the same. Turning on the button below will only display posts that have featured image attached. Let's see how the exclude option works. Just select terms. And then term item. See the selected category disappeared from the display. Just like that, feel free to take the advantages of the new query system. Also, you are advised to change into this new query system as soon as possible as the old system will vanish in the next update. Next, we added more options in the additional settings section in our price list widget. Now you can select the number of columns up to 3, display items counter, display add to cart button, display old price, 
and badge. In the list section, you will find the old price and badge options for each item. On the style tab, now you have an item section with color, border and padding against all the items. Add any color and increase border radius to bevel out the corners. Next, we have added hover animation effect in our step flow widget. The options are located inside the direction section in style tab. Turning on the hover animation option will bring a hover effect on the arrowhead. If the infinite animation switcher is on, the hover effect will be looped infinitely. Next, we have added video replay switcher on the hover video widget. Video replay plays the video again upon ending. Next, we brought a new feature into our tabs and switcher widgets. This new option lets you link other widgets with the tab items and only display the clicked ones. Let's get the whole picture together. To use this feature perfectly, you have to put the selected widget or items into a single column just beside the tabs widget. Get into the tabs section and click on the first tab item. There, select the source link widget. A new field named link widget ID will appear right below. Now, click on the first widget and get into the advanced section. There, place and copy the CSS ID of the widget. Go back to the tab 1 and place it inside the ID field. Do the same for the second widget. Place the CSS ID into the second tab for this time. Now, click the free view button. As you can see, the display shows only the first widget while tab 1 is selected. When you select tab 2, the first widget will be replaced with the second widget at the same place. That's how this new feature works. Next, we have added local GMT option in the time zone widget. Next, loop time option has been added in the counter widget. Using this feature, you can promote any offer for a custom fixed time and the counter will loop again once the campaign has ended. The time data shows a 15 minutes random time fraction reduction from the selected time to make the counter look more realistic. Also, the counter data use cookies to save the current time for each user. As a result, every user will get their own counter displaying different time limit based on real-time difference. Once ended, the loop will reset and start again. Next, filter item count switch is added to the portfolio gallery widget. The option is located under the filter bar. You will get a section in the style tab to customize it. Next, we added the hover option for the fancy list item. The option includes color, border, padding, space and other settings. Lastly, we added text hide options for mobile and tablet devices for the post slider widget. See how it works.
please like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.